This morning, bells ringing out for 10 minutes in Cape Town, honoring Archbishop Desmond Tutu. As powerful tributes come in from around the world for one of the fiercest opponents of apartheid. Black and white together! From his daughter, my dad is at rest. Thank you, Tetsetchi, for all you have been to our family and the world. To global leaders, President Biden calling him a true servant of God and of the people, adding his legacy transcends borders and will echo throughout the ages. President Obama, who awarded Tutu the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2009, tweeting he was grounded in the struggle for liberation and justice in his own country, but also concerned with injustice everywhere. The Queen adding he was held in such high affection and esteem across the Commonwealth. And Harry and Meghan, who brought their son Archie to South Africa two years ago, writing he will be remembered for his optimism, his moral clarity and his joyful spirit. Tutu was born into poverty in a small mining town in 1931, and by 1975, he became the first black Anglican dean of Johannesburg. He had an extraordinary capacity to communicate with black South Africans um, and also to get under the skin of white South Africans. Resistance to South Africa's apartheid regime was met with brutal violence. Hundreds of activists, including Nelson Mandela, spent decades in prison. The system of this country is evil. In 1984, he won the Nobel Peace Prize, and by 1986, he became South Africa's first black archbishop. Finally, the early 1990s saw the end of apartheid. Nothing will, I think, ever take away the glow of that first experience of uh, walking tall. Tutu was diagnosed with prostate cancer in the late 1990s and at 80 years old retired from public life to spend more time with his family. He died over the weekend in Cape Town, South Africa. He was 90 years old. And of course, tributes are coming in from every corner of the globe. In South Africa, a full week of events. On Wednesday, there will be a memorial service. On Thursday night, an intimate night with friends of the Tutus. On Friday, his body will lie in state for two days ahead of the funeral on Saturday. And you guys, huge crowds are expected. I'll send it back to you, Jacob. Molly Hunter, thank you so much. His legacy transcended borders, as the president said, you guys. Yeah, I think it's exactly right. He was a man who wasn't just courageous, but also compassionate. One of those few voices that sort of resonated across the planet in the fight against injustice. Yeah, and you think about the fact that he was born into poverty and yeah. everything that he accomplished, all of the people he inspired and frankly now helped. Now being honored by presidents and world leaders for the Extraordinary. Yep. Yeah, incredible legacy. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.